This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and today I'm going to talk about the FFF file manager. It's a terminal-based TUI file manager that is written completely in Bash and uses only core utilities. There are some optional dependencies if you want to have image previews in the terminal, but outside of that, it's completely Bash. It's an interesting project. The author of this is also the author of NeoFetch, which is something you've no doubt seen. And he's also the maintainer and developer for KISS Linux, which is an interesting minimal Linux distribution. This is packaged for a number of different distributions. Fortunately, I'm on Kubuntu, so it's not packaged for mine, but I'm just gonna pull down the Git repo. Hop over to a terminal. Let's go to my applications folder and we'll just clone this down. There we go, we have it. We'll change into the FFF directory. And I wanna get the latest release, which is 2.1. So we'll do a git checkout, tags, 2.1. That way we're not working off the master branch, which may have you know some unstable changes in it. And to install, it's just sudo make install. Type in my password, and that's it. We have it installed. So let's play around with it. I'm gonna blow up the terminal window so it's easier to see. Uh, start it up, you type in FFF, press enter, and you have a fairly straightforward view as you would have in a TUI file manager like NNN or uh, LF. To navigate, we can use Vim keys, HJKL for up and down. If we use L, that'll pop us into a directory. H will bring us back. There's a number of ways to navigate quickly. If you use the colon key, you can go directly to a directory. So if I want to go to my Dropbox directory, I can start typing it, press the tab key, and it's intelligent enough to autocomplete. If I want to jump back to my home directory, I can use tilde, and that'll pop me back to the home directory. And then if I want to go back between the previous and the current directory, you can use the minus key to quickly switch between those. The documentation is very good as well. If you go to the man page, and I'll blow this up as well so you can see, all the keyboard shortcuts are in there. Like I said, Vim keys, so we can go to the top with G, we can go to the bottom with capital G. If we want to view file information, we can use the X key, you press X again, that will uh, bring you back. You also have some convenient file operations you can do. So if I want to create a directory, I can just press the N key for a new directory. We'll call it test directory. It creates it. I can use forward slash to search for it quickly. And let's make a couple more directories. We'll say um, test directory two, test directory three. If we want to create a file, we can use the F key. Type in a file name. Maybe we want to make a readme. We want to edit that. You can press enter, use the L key, and that will open up the file in your preferred editor. Mine is NeoVim. Save it, exit out, it'll drop us back here. If we like to copy that file, we can use Y to yank, like we would in Vim. And then you can navigate to where you want to copy it to, and then P is the command that will perform the action. So P is the performs the action for copy, move, delete, etc. It's all listed in the man page. If we want to rename, we can use R. We'll call this topic1.md, renames the file. Maybe we want to go back, create a couple more files like topic2.md, topic3.md. So we have a couple files in here. If you want to move a file, again, very easy. You can press M to move. Navigate to the directory and then press the P key to perform the action to paste it in. It supports batch renaming or bulk renaming. So you can use capital B to mark them. You press P to execute the action and it'll open up the file names in whatever your preferred editor is. So maybe I want to change the name of the readme to something else. So let's call that topic four. We can save it, exit, and it's going to say, this is what we're going to rename it to. 
and we can just exit and our files are renamed. So pretty cool, pretty efficient, as opposed to typing out the command long ways. If you do want to drop into a shell, you can drop into a shell using the exclamation point, and then we can type exit, that'll drop us back into the file manager. It has a built-in trash, so if I want to get rid of what I did over here, I can just choose to delete a file. So I'm pressing the D key to highlight it, press the D key again to unhighlight it, if I want to delete everything in the directory, I can use capital D. Same thing if I want to copy everything in the directory, I can use a capital letter like capital Y. But we want to delete, so we use capital D, press P to perform the action. It'll prompt us if we want to delete, we can say yes. And then if you want to view your trash, you can press the T key, it'll bring you to the trash. So this is a cool project, check it out. They also have a uh, plugin, so you can integrate FFF directly into Vim and use it as your file picker. And check out more by this author. He has a great bash Bible that shows you some tips and tricks for how to um, create TUI interfaces and bash based programs. But if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorials.